<laughs> Being someone that grew up in this beautiful spot of Victoria, BC, it's, it's a gift to be able to share with people uh, the importance of protecting the oceans and, uh, and the earth. The oceans are not doing okay. They, um, just like trees, they're a huge contributor to our oxygen levels. The greenhouse gases are getting absorbed and causing the ocean to acidify, which is causing the plankton to not be able to form its uh, exoskeleton so, and not survive and not feed the fish um, all the way up the food chain. If we continue to destroy the planet and make it more and more sick, then that's the end of us too. I've got a an old Dodge Ram running on vegetable oil collected from local restaurants after they've cooked their french fries with it. It's considered carbon neutral because uh, canola oil's made from a plant, so it's, it's renewable. It feels good to us to get around, get across Canada with less of an impact. My band Carmana is a member of the Jellyfish Project, um, which was started a number of years back by a wonderful man named Daniel Kingsbury and an awesome band called Mindel Beach. Roll on down to the sand on the fence of eat the green Sail on off in the sea in a bottle of red I love it when you take me out sweet as apple and spice Whisper and sweet nothings treat me so nice How it began was Mindel Beach had a logo that they used um, for their band, and it was a jellyfish. And the more they learned about the jellyfish, they found that it was an indicator species of the fragility of our oceans. So they became so certain of their need to share this information that they learned that two of the band members actually were educated to Al Gore's Climate Reality Project. We've had the opportunity to, to go into high schools and middle schools and a couple elementary schools too and speak with students about the importance of protecting the environment, specifically the oceans. When I'm out walking, my feet lead the way, my head starts to bob and my shoulders this way, my heels may click. I just can't help it as I take the trip to the bay. We're creatures of habit and we've sunk it into a consumeristic um, mentality, you know. One time use, throw it away, go back, go back to the store, buy a new one, and uh, it's just, it's, it's not healthy. One of the biggest solutions that we bring to students is cutting down on plastics. And we just encourage kids to, to be active in the conversation and not shy away from talking with their parents and their teachers and their peers about the importance of being a land steward and uh, and loving your your backyard. It's hard to penetrate to to adults. We, you know we're stuck in our ways. So the kids are our future, as as we all say. They're still compassionate and and eager to to make a difference. Anything from going to the beach and doing physical beach cleanup. It's all about starting the conversation and talking about solutions with one another and not feeling defeated by the state of the environment, but get, getting out there and doing something about it. Really, whatever your dream job is, you can apply it to uh, a green job. The really important thing about the Jellyfish Project is that it's empowering and that it says we still have the ability to make changes in this planet and in this world, and that youth are, are key to that. Say, each and every day we'll see you should be alone when they call.